Hello the people of the universe, this is the Game Wizard and welcome back to another video and today in this video we are once again playing Minecraft Communities which we self and are on this channel on a Saturday at 7 o'clock unless of course I've done the exact same thing as last week and forgotten to upload it on Saturday in which case you're probably watching this on Sunday um, but like I, I do have a reason like I, I like I've just sort of for the past two weeks been doing stuff like non-related to the internet and because of that like i prioritize that over U youtube which i probably should do but i probably shouldn't from other aspects of things but hey it's what's happened but i'm hoping that soon i'll be able to return back to it properly just because i've literally had the past three weeks something's been happening every week but i think soon it should be getting a bit better um so today we're going to be finishing what we started building in the last video and a lot of this food for you dogs is getting very very low um so we're going to be finishing off the welcome in and i have um finished off the uh rainbow on the outside it's mainly now just the actual interior of it and i have just realized i have a ridiculous amounts of minecart tracks inside of my inventory and i can't remember why i have those oh that's right right i need to show you a thing and now i mucked up the last video tremendously because i spent ages just showing you things and not building enough however this is actually um relatively relevant to this so what i found is the remember laurie's old dog puggles it was like a dog that's predating ps4 and it's really old and i think it might be older than all of my dogs as well so like we've really got to take care of him or her i'm not entirely sure i might have to ask him that um just because i don't actually know what sort of dog it is so i need to ask laurie about that next time i speak to him and i think i got these to put it in here if i haven't already got some in there oh no i already have some in there so it is definitely for this then so i found puggles inside so remember around episode 24 25 maybe i don't know it was a fair while ago it's been over a year i uploaded a video called like we're at war or something like that and it was half roleplay, half not. It was back when the community world was more about um, playing on it more than the video aspect of it. And then because of that, a lot of stuff like this happened and it sort of halted my production of videos for a fair while as well. But essentially, someone I think someone wanted to buy my community because I wanted to sell it. Then they ended up doing something really bad to it. And then it became a thing of we had to hide out. And I'll just spot it in case of attack bunker. We didn't hide out down here. But I didn't know this was here. So that's probably why we haven't hidden out down there. That's a bit odd to be fair. Not entirely sure when I built that or why. It might not have even been me. But it looks like it was because of obviously the capitals on all the words. And I haven't filled in this bit down here. I thought I'd filled in all of this. Evidently not. Need to get on that. Uh, but down here, or up there, I guess. And what's, what's that up there? I'll go and have a look at what that is in a minute. There's a sign down at QWERTY. Oh, okay. Um, fair enough. I guess this is QWERTY the tree. I don't... There, there, there are loads of stuff like here, uh, that around here. Like around the older parts of the world. Where it was like... Where we spent our entire time, pretty much. And this was... Who was this? I think this is when we moved and Igor was over there. Um, but like we missed Igor, so we made a new Igor, but this one doesn't speak or isn't real, I don't think. Hello, Pink Igor? No, Pink Igor doesn't seem to actually exist. It seems to just be a little place to hold up for Igor. And what's in this chest down here? Um, okay, I guess just a bunch of random rubbish. Uh, you never know when some of this stuff's going to come in handy, so I might... I'll, I'll try and remember that I've got that stuff there. And then, oh, this was my bed, I think. Yeah, I think this was my bed. This was Humongous Ball's bed. Humongous Ball was just a random person that we were playing with at the time. And this was Laurie's, I think. Or well, this might have been mine, this might have been Laurie's, and that was Humongous Ball's. 
but I can't remember. It's one of those. Uh, it's, it's one of those two uh, combinations. But this right here is Puggles, one of the oldest, actually I think the oldest dog on the community world, and probably, other than me, the oldest thing on the community world. Because obviously that's been moved several times, that's been broken, that's been moved across, that's been rebuilt, that's been blown up, what, whatever. So I think me and Puggles are the oldest thing on this community world that is not natural. So yeah, Puggles, um, my plan is to move you using a minecart track at some point over to there and we're going to build you a big castle because if you remember um, the my one of my dogs might actually still be there I might go and have a look in a minute had like a mini castle inside that community and it was shared with Puggles as being like the king of the dogs so Puggles has had quite a long complicated history in this world and like I'm pretty sure he died at some point but then there was a weird glitch where like you could go to different saves of the world and then if you did one thing in the one save of the world then it did it in the other and like that was back in the PS3 days so you had to use like a USB stick to try and transfer the world to a different PS4 or a different PS3 but like keeping like but then putting it back on the same PS3 it, it was weird okay it was genuinely one of the weirdest things I've ever done in Minecraft. I guess it was sort of out of Minecraft as well. Because it wasn't like in game. It was in the PS3. It was one of the weirdest experiences I've had on PS3 is what I'm on about. So I think we're going to have to go over this new bridge. Because I did expand this. And there's the person that lives over there. Mario71298635. I don't know. Um, wanted to... Um, expand it and build in it and I don't think they've actually done anything in here no they haven't they've literally left it exactly oh no they have they've fixed the back of my old house so like you can't see the redstone without peeking over but other than that I don't think they have done a thing and this was another one of Igor's people but I'm pretty sure they are not real either I mean it might turn out that they're all real and I've just been punching them all in the face and it's going to come back to like bite me really really hard However, where was the, this was the mini castle? This was it. This was the throne. And hello, sheep. I'm gonna shut this door because I bet you were in here for some sort of specific reason that I can't remember. And oh my god, it's Drake. Who are you? Um. Well, I mean, he's not my dog. So, um, there's one of two possibilities. Actually, there's countless possibilities on who you could be, so I'm not going to list two and then be like, well, there are actually loads more. But yeah, you could literally be anyone's dog right now. I'm not sure whose you are. So you can go back to sharing a cast with Puggles. I assume you did share a cast with Puggles and it wasn't one of my dogs, but it might be. I don't know. Or maybe that could be uh, like a glitch or something that makes me not be able to stand them up. Or maybe they could... I, don't, I doubt they'd be robots after what Igor did because, I mean, I was able to suss that out relatively quickly and fix it relatively quickly too so I think that what might be happening there is it's just someone else's dog and I forgot actually no I'm not going to do that I'm not going to do that I'm not going to do that because I'm wasting loads of time it's 10 minutes into the video and we haven't done a single thing this is really 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 bad right now I don't know why I have an obsession with just doing this I've wasted so many communities videos so far um but yeah, and that's the face of that. I don't know why we put that there. I don't know whether that was even me. I remember it being there, and I remember when I first noticed it, but I can't remember why it was there, or who put it there, or what for, or whatever. However, um, I'm going to actually try and get some work done today, unlike the last couple of videos, where it's literally just been like this for 20 minutes instead of 10. And 10 isn't too good to waste. However, it's better than 20, and this is the trident still from the last video, or maybe the video before. And can we get over here? Oh, no, I thought we could get over there without falling in. I'm going to give it one more attempt. I know I've just been saying about time wasting. However, there we go. That was perfect. Almost perfect. If we just forget the first attempt, maybe I should cut that out of the video. No, I'm not going to cut that out of the video. So, yeah, it's going to be like, I don't know if I've told you what's going on um, inside this welcome in 
but it's going to be sort of like a desert island retreat sort of thing so i'm going to put all of this away and it won't fit of course it won't so i need to go and make an island obviously at first and then it's going to be surrounded by water it's going to look really nice and it's going to have like a palm tree and like some sun beds and things and it needs to be one over in this direction and then i think i've done it right here if I just go and try and line this up, yes, I indeed have. And I might actually move this path again so it does meet up and this is directly in the middle. But I don't really want to do that because I have moved this path quite a lot. And it is just getting a bit annoying right now. But essentially, I think what I'll do is I'll just sort of go around and just try and make it look a bit like a random desert island. that's just been in the middle of a, an ocean, just you're sailing around in your boat, you come across this. And boom, there's a sunbed there, there's a palm tree, there's another sunbed, there's another palm tree. Actually, I'm just going to have one palm tree, otherwise that get a little bit ridiculous. I want to try and make it a little bit bigger on this side, because otherwise it's going to be madly off-centre. So if I just go and curve it back in over there, and then I want to make this so it goes more in over here. So... If I do it like that, then does that look like an okay shape for a desert island? Uh, yeah, that looks okay. I'm fine with that. It doesn't look that good, but it doesn't look that bad. And it does look quite natural as well, which is really what I was aiming for. And we've got some water buckets over in the chest. And we have we got enough sand? Oh, yeah, we've definitely got enough sand just to fill this in. We've got some water buckets over in the chest. So I'm going to make an infinite water source in a minute. I actually might make that out of this island. I might just leave um, these two bits there, or these four bits, two by two, um, empty for now, just so then I can um, put an infinite water source down in there so I don't have to just try and use two water buckets to try and fill in the entire place because I don't think that will happen very easily. And I don't have to go running back all everywhere trying to have to find like a river or running to the river to get stuff out of it because then sometimes that creates streams and stuff. And I'm not the biggest fan of when it starts to stream. So let me go and grab a water bucket like so. And then I actually I do have more than two, but I might as well just make an infinite water source anyway. Oh no, I've done the infinite water source wrong. Don't worry though. Because I have, in fact, got more water buckets where that one came from. And there we go. Perfect. So then if I just fill in these. Oh, no. I've made it all streamy again. There we go. Okay. I just need to wait for it to fill in a little bit more. But I do believe that uh, if I move this, then I'll make it a little bit easier. Uh, I do believe if I do it like in a row along here then it will slowly start filling itself in once it realizes that i am trying to fill it all in because it did that for a little while but i don't know when that was then it fills it in with all that any streams and stuff just then it does look a bit nice and it's easier to go through as well and it would be really nice if i could have it sort of like creeping onto the sand like a tide sort of thing but obviously you can't do that in minecraft and that would be a little bit too much to ask Obviously, it would lag out the game an awful lot, and I don't really want to put it just on the sand. Otherwise, then that just makes it look a bit weird. And if I break um, a hole in it to put it there, then it just ends up making the island look smaller, because obviously it'll still be on the same level. And I could use half slabs, actually, because you can put water over half slabs. Then the only issue is, is that sandstone uh, is the closest thing to a sand half slab that we have, and that doesn't look that similar. And this is not becoming non-streamy whatsoever. And that is annoying me quite a lot. And this has just become streamy. But there we go. That's become non-streamy. So I reckon if I just try and fill in this bit. I think it might be worth just going along the... Oh no. If I just go along the edges trying to do it. Like there and there and there. And if I just go along and do that all the way, like, yeah, this bit here is pretty much sorted out the streaminess of it. It's still a little bit over here. Then I'll go and do this over here. And there we go. You saw that. It just filled itself in a little bit. And there we go. Is it doing it all the way over here too? No, it's not doing it all the way over there. But it has just done it 
for a majority of the way. It's done it for all the bits that I've filled in anyway, pretty much. So if I just go and fill it in over there, and then over here is roughly when it stops, and it does the same thing on the other side. But this is actually looking to be quite good so far. I don't know why I sound so surprised about that, because I do obviously know what this is roughly going to look like. Obviously, the island is different to the one of on my sketch book world, but I, I know roughly what it's going to look like because I have already planned this out. So if I then just go over here... And is that filled in this bit? No, it hasn't filled in this little bit right there, which is why it's pushing me inwards. And the streams, like, they just don't look that nice and have... No, I haven't looked that up. And I could probably, to be fair, just start using this to fill up the water buckets because this has just made an infinite water source and quite a big one at that, which is always quite handy. So instead of having to jump onto the island, I can just go uh, yoink yoink and yoink obviously waiting for it to fill up um in between the taking of it in between the yoinks because otherwise then that is going to take a while and it is really pushing me there we go we've just gone straight through it it'd be really nice to get depth strider on my boots because i believe they got mending on them uh, i'll have a check in a minute but i think they do because that's why they haven't broken yet because obviously i've got gold leather and I don't think I have anything chainmail, but golden leather obviously don't last very long. So I think if they didn't have mending, then they would have been gone by now. But I do think that they're doing okay. So I do think that they must have mending. And is that going to fill in all the streams? No, not quite. But I do think if I go like that, will that be enough? No, not quite. I think I need to put it in like the middle bit down there. And there we go. That is the entire outside of the ocean part uh, pretty much completed. So let me go and... Um, I don't have any wooden. Oh, I don't have any wooden here. Okay, that's really annoying. But what I do want to do is grab some of this snow. And I th think I've mentioned this before. It's going to be like... These are going to be like clouds going up the outside of it sort of a bit like the Simpsons logo. I mean, that's a bit of an odd thing to compare clouds to. Well, no, not, I'm not comparing clouds to the Simpsons logo, but you know what I mean? Like, that was a bit of an odd thing to mention when thinking of clouds, but it does have clouds in it, which is why I did it. And I thought I just saw some more streams. I'm going to be really paranoid about that now, but I swear I have done a pretty good job. And this is the one annoying bit about it. It is v exceptionally close to other buildings in the area so like they can only have a little bit of snow and it sort of connects to the buildings next to it and stuff then this building over here is perfectly fine because it doesn't actually uh, go that close because it's got three block gap and then it goes out by one I think so I think there'll be a two block gap in total uh, when it goes up I might be wrong about that it might actually go by two and I want to use a shovel just to get rid of it. oh nope didn't mean to destroy it that much then I think if I just build it up along there and then I might make it peek up in the middle a bit like so. And yeah, I think this is actually looking quite nice. Do I have any wool on me or in here? No, I don't. So I can't make the sunbeds either. Um, that's a bit annoying. However, what I can do is I can go and add some people. I'm just going to do this in the same way as the um thingy um as the mayonnaise people that i did so i'm gonna do them like in the middle that is exact middle to each of these i believe um hang on one two three four and one two three four yep there we go and then i will just grab some of these and i've got so many torches on me i don't normally have this many torches but i don't I do need to add some torches into the middle of there, but I might actually be okay because obviously, like, uh, it's very bright in my world, and it's very not it's not very often night, and obviously the jack o' lanterns light it up quite a lot, and I just want to have one of these on each side of the, uh, en like each entrance, each way to get in, or oh, the entrance on each side was what I was trying to say. Um, just to make it look a bit, once again, a bit more welcoming. So I think once I've done this 
guy over here and just keeping with the same basic thing as my nade had I am pretty much completely finished with this video um, so yeah in the next video uh, or in between this video and the next one I will get the palm tree built and the sunbeds that's not going to take too long I'll probably end up just planting like an acacia tree and putting like two pieces of wool uh, on the floor but I will show you that when it's done obviously and in the next video we're going to be building right next door to this we're going to be building the um, Coden place which is going to be really fancy and really nice and there seems to be some llamas and a villager inside one another so I'll just leave you them uh, I'll just leave them to it and yeah so if you enjoyed the no wait hang on I've mucked up my intro what what's my intro I haven't recorded in ages um and thank you for watching if you uh no that's not my intro thank you all for watching uh i hope you all enjoyed the video the next video will be online next week as always and link will be in the description once it is goodbye